Hey guys, it's Connor Grant here. Today we are going to be reacting to Grey Wilderness. Yikes, Quill Guy a Porcupine. Uh, if you guys don't know who this YouTuber is, his name is Grey Wilderness. And he, his name is Coyote Pearson. Um, I don't know his real name, that's probably his real name, I don't know. But today we're going to be reacting to him getting Quill Guy a Porcupine. So, anyways, the original link of this video will be in the link of the person. So, <coughs> um, I'm still sick, but not as much, thank God, but yeah. Alright, let's get into this video now. If it loads, load already, please. And, and that is the North American porcupine. As you can see, he's covered in quills. Get ready, uh, we're about to enter the spike right. zone. Yeah, see, I love this guy. He's beautiful. This morning, the crew and I fueled up and set off down rugged mountain roads into the high country of Montana, where we would get the chance to work with one of the most common, and proudly, the second largest road in North America, the Porcupine. Oh, wow, that's cool. Now, this is true Porcupine facts. territory right here. I got to know some facts about stuff that I don't even understand. All right. Here, all these tall pines, hillsides, Perfect place for them to be rummaging around in all this loose soil for uh, roots and berries and all sorts of uh, delicious porcupine trees. To be honest, these black and white forest well. To be honest, I do not like walking on grass, sitting on grass, or laying down on grass. Grass feels so weird to me. Yes, you you guys who've been watching this, the guys who people who are watching this video right now might find that weird, but yeah, for some reason I just don't like grass. All right, back to the video. Dollars may look adorable and cuddly, but as we all know, and I was about to experience, they are equipped with nature's reactive armor. Well, I mean, Just beneath a layer of sensitive guard back, hairs, back you will story. find thousands of barbed quills that will make any would-be predator think twice about considering the porcupine for an entree. Now, I have never seen a porcupine before in the wild. I've never worked with a porcupine, so for me, this is going to be a really unique experience. Now, the reason I'm able to get so close to this porcupine is because it was actually raised in captivity. So this little guy is used to being around humans and sometimes cameras. Now, this is the second largest rodent that lives in North America, trumped only by its aquatic cousin, the beaver. In cartoons, I don't really, you know, I would see porcupines like that, but like not in real life, not expecting that. Now, porcupines have incredible claws. They got four claws on the front and actually a vestigial thumb, which allows them to quickly climb up trees oh, wow. to evade predators. Those you can't get to a tree in time. What Jesus. they do is exactly this. Show the rump side and all those quills. You get your nose close to that and it's gonna be a face full of spikes. Today uh. my goal is to intentionally get quilled by a porcupine. Yes, you heard me right. I'm going to get quilled by a porcupine. I'm oh, going to show you the right way to remove wow. these painful like really barbed hairy. quills from either yourself or in most cases from the snout of your curious pet. Now I'm being told that when I perform this example I'm going to get close to 40 or 50 quills in the back of my hand. I hope you guys enjoy this at home. This will in no way cause any harm to the porcupine. Their quills are nothing more than modified hairs and they continually grow over the life of the animal. The only one who's going to experience any discomfort is me. Tell you where you don't want to get quilled in the face. That would be pretty bad. Wow. All right. What I want to do Wait, is no, agitate those guard hairs, and then he should thrust his tail up into what my hand. Face? Are you ready? Uh, I love how I get myself into these things. One, don't two, ooh. Ah. Yep. There we go. Oh, That's a handful that of quills. Hurts so now the ones on the bad. top of my hand really aren't that bad. It's those ones right there. Can oh, you see how deep God. those are into my finger? It hurts to move my finger right now. Ow. I mean, I think they touch bone. <laughs> it hurts a lot. Um, I think most of them are gonna be pretty easy to get out. Ow. Those two are gonna be extremely painful. Well, I got a handful of quills here for my little friend the porcupine right there. I'm gonna show oh, you guys wait, how to get these out of either your hand mouth, or your dog. I have a feeling this is gonna be pretty uh, painful. Right, I come on, gonna, go. Don't tell me you're gonna get The one in my finger too. hurts so bad that's what right he now. In the of the video. Now it's most likely that your dog is gonna get quilled by a porcupine. Dude, and you, know, you might think, oh, I'm just gonna pull that quill straight out. It's not gonna work. These have microscopic oh barbs God, on the end. Up. And one of the cool techniques oh, of the porcupine quill is that once it's in there. Well, you hear that? Listen. Oh my goodness. 
All right, they're away now, thank God. All right, back to the video. Works deeper and deeper and deeper. So you want to get these out as quick as you possibly can. All right. I never oh, recommend wow. that you go out and get yourself quilled by a porcupine. And the reason that I did this today oh is to show you how to remove quills from your hand. And the reason that I snipped off the tops of all the quills uh, is that it actually releases pressure inside of the quill, relaxes bleeding. the barbs, and now they should bleeding, release out of bad. my hand a bit easier. And what I want to do is gently grab the quills, twist them, and pull straight up. I'm going to remove uh, the ones that aren't as deep first. I want to get all those barbs and those little points out of there uh, because they can cause an infection, and that's the last thing that I want to happen. Uh, I mean, lion, I hope I don't get quill bear, by a porcupine or coyote in real life. You gotta okay, face full of these quills. I mean, it's dehabilitating. Mm, I can barely move my hand. Like these animals wouldn't be. Okay, guys, I'm back. So, um, but continue. And I can see why eventually this could cause a large predator like that to die. Ooh, Ugh. my hand hurts. Okay, these are the last three. It's not like a band aid. And you don't just pull it off. You just pull these out, it's gonna rip all the skin out with it because of those tiny little microscopic barbs. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm gonna twist and pull straight up. That's the goal. Ow. Ow. <sighs> okay, now he's bleeding. Jeez. Ah, oh, that oh, hurt. Now he's bleeding. Oh, now he's bleeding. blood pouring out now. Ow, wow. <sighs> Look at that blood little bubble. You get that shot of blood? Oh my gosh. Yeah, that really hurt. Okay. And here comes another one. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh my gosh. That I'm real so sorry I like that was like you, I can feel it pulling all the way out through the skin. Ow. Ah. Oh my goodness. That, that Oh, man. Wow. Really I mean, that was buried into my hand up to the white. That is a serious quill in my wow. coyote paw. Well, I guess. Oh, moral never of the story. Right? Do not get quilled. Never mess with a porcupine. Quilled by a porcupine. I hope you guys learned something here today. If you are ever quilled, snip I learned something. Never, let, never mess with porcupines. I said that like 40 times now. I still just. Learned, seriously, just don't mess with them. The top, it will release the pressure. So that could grab, to you, twist, like, and pull it out. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. All right, man. Well, if you thought that was all right, guys, well, that was the end of the video. That was um, really crazy. Um, that's really, really sad that happened to him, but um, yeah, um. Never, this is gonna be the fourth time I'm saying this, but never mess with porcupines, alright? Cause then they're gonna do that to you. But yeah. Anyway, guys, that was, um, that was, um, getting cooled by porcupine by Greg Wilderness. Uh, there's the link of this, of this video will be in the description. But yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching, and see you guys next time. Outro play.